just past that dead tree is our eastern border with Australia. Dark sort of over there, but I think it's going to go very red at sunset. We called it Atlantium. We started uh, making stamps. We very shortly thereafter uh, designed our flag. Uh, we gave ourselves titles, and we set about writing a constitution uh, for what we considered to be uh, the model uh, for a future world state. Okay, that bit's the blue bit's the top, the yellow bit's the middle, and the orange bit's the bottom. You suddenly learn that you don't have any rights, and that's quite wrong. And I think that people should stand up for their rights and do something about it and make it a better place, not, not just sit back and let people trample all over them. So we decided that the only course available was to form a principality, that means seceding from the regulations which were imposed on us and which were undesirable. You good? Hey, you going to give me a kiss? Give me a kiss. He was at uh, uh, the conference on Saturday as a representative of Prince Leonard and gave an excellent okay. address. The benefits uh, to becoming a market nation are that you are independent and therefore you are not any longer uh, under the rules and laws of the country which is surrounding you. We could have our own currency we could have our own stamps, postage stamps. We would have our own passport. We could have our own citizens. I'll just transmit everything with a, as long as we're not trying to send a package full of bricks or something. Um, they don't need to worry. These cats are so unusual and so eccentric in, in many ways. I mean, these are people uh, making quite odd claims uh, to be separate from a country which they've always been a part of uh, and which they have no legal right in international law to become separate from. Eccentricity is something which is uh, present in everyone. We are all mad to some extent, but we live in the sign world, we hope. Many of these uh, claims have arisen in Australia because of old British laws which some of these people have uh, sought to rely upon to claim independence. Uh, now those claims have never really been fully tested because they've never gone to court. It is a hard battle. People look upon you with contempt. They look upon you as you are mad. They look upon you as something unusual. And some of them look upon you as lunatic. Uh, I don't think in this, in the world in which we live, uh, at the standard of living that we expect for ourselves, it's not possible for one family to remove themselves from the body politic and set up an independent state. You just cannot do that.
it's just become part of the Australian psyche where people, when they feel hard done by, they stick it to the establishment by uh, uh, declaring themselves independent. So it appeals to people with a, uh, a sense of uh, maybe self-importance, uh, people with a bit of a theatrical sense, uh, people who are uh, maybe articulate but whose views are not necessarily part of the mainstream. We, you know, we may well be a somewhat ephemeral entity, but uh, if those people are uh, you know, prepared to sit down with their representatives and, and actually give them the time of day, um, then we have actually achieved something in the real world, and uh, that is you know, something that uh, bodes well for the future.